Okay, hello guys. Again with Ombob. Okay. This time we don't have any pawn to be rooted or custom. Okay. But I'll show you how to how to disable Magis module. Okay. Sometime when you install the modules in Magis. Okay. Sometime it will not fit for your pawn or it's an old module and it can it can make your pawn boot loop okay as usual we can always uh, install the magis from the custom recovery but we, we want to try another another way okay without uninstalling the magis okay we have two method in here the first thing is <coughs> when you have a custom recovery okay Using the custom recovery, you can delete the folder of the custom of the models. Okay, <coughs> and the second scenario is when you do not have a custom recovery. Okay, and your pawn would look because of the magic model, so we don't want to flash the the ROM. What should we do? You can always use the special ADB command. Okay, I'll show you to of the method. Okay. <coughs> now, as you can see, we have more images in here. Okay, let's open it. And we successfully install it. Okay. Now, I want to install model. Uh, small model that's broken. And next, the pawn boot look. Okay. Let's go to the module in here. Install this one, okay. And select where you put the zip file, the magic module, okay. And select this one and open it, <coughs> okay. And then hit this reboot button, okay. You will see that the pawn will be boot loop. <laughs> Okay, we are using the scenario one. Okay, this one is now already boot loop, but we have a custom recovery. Okay, so we'll wait just to make sure the pawn is boot loop. Boot loop means it cannot enter the Android menu. Okay. In the normal, if the module is running well, we are not waiting this long. Okay, this is too long, it means that the pawn gets good loop. Okay, uh, we'll wait for another minute. <coughs> to show you okay this one is uh, officially good look okay <laughs> now because this is a Samsung one okay we will force the pawn to be booted by pressing the volume down home and power button okay when it's reboot switch the volume down to the volume up okay then still pressing hold the button until you enter the custom recovery okay now we are in the, in the custom recovery <coughs> okay uh, first scenario is remove the model from the TWRP okay let's go to the on here Make the mount menu and select the system okay and make sure <coughs> On system partition the only is unchecked okay it's like this and check the, the system okay and hit back and go to the advanced and file manager okay we will <coughs> maybe get to the to a folder okay this is the folder we'll maybe get to data okay and then adb one okay as you can see there is some 
folder and go to the model folder here okay as you can see there is a pomade smiley picture this is the broken smiley picture that we've installed before just click the folder and click this one the right button and select delete delete okay and swipe it okay and it will remove the modules so our pump will not reboot anymore okay hit the home button it will reboot and system okay that is the first method if you have a custom recovery okay let's see if the phone can boot into the android menu Okay. <clears throat> now we are in the Android home screen. It means that we successfully removed the module that makes the phone the loop. Okay. Now we're gonna install the module again. Okay. Uh, open the disk manager. Go to the module and find the mo module that makes the loop. Okay. Okay, this one and open it. Okay, <clears throat> if you rooting upon or custom ROM, okay, I will assume that you are always enable the USB debugging because it's uh, you can do many things with LED, okay, including this one, including remove the model without the tail okay and let's check the settings here okay <coughs> go to the proper option as you can see in here I have already enabled the USB debugging okay so it's a good idea that I always enable the USB debugging so you can get from your computer okay let's check connected okay it's still connected okay okay <clears throat> so if you put your pawn using the patch boot and does not have a custom recovery it's a good idea that you enable the USB debugging okay uh, now we're gonna restart the phone okay And it will boot loop again. Okay, you can see uh, when it's normal not boot loop, it will boot into Android Mini then less than one second. But it takes now it takes more than that, so it's boot loop. Okay, now we're gonna fix it without the custom recovery. <coughs> okay, as I showed before, the phone is still connected to the ADB device, even though. Uh, the point is good loop. Okay. So to remove the maze module, we have to type some command. This is the command, quite long. Okay. The command is adb wait for device adb space wait dash for dash device space cell space images space dash dash remove as modules okay this is a command that will remove the this module all the modules okay and you just need to hit enter okay and the phone will be rebooted as you can see and it will remove all the modules so our phone will not be anymore and we 
don't have to press the stop chrome or the custom recovery again. <laughs> Okay, nice. Okay, that's all. This is a quick tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Uh, if you like it, please hit the like button. <laughs> I have lots of video about uh, everything and custom ROM. Okay, please check my video and please subscribe to my channel if you like it. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day. Wassalamualaikum.